Hello everyone and welcome to a, a very special interview I've got coming to you today. Uh, it's a very close friend of mine, Eddie Robinson, and I'm, I'm super excited about this one. We've got, we can cover a lot of things in this video, but I want to uh, really pick his brains. He's, he's had such an amazing journey over the last 10 years or so now. He's a, like I said, he's a close friend of mine. We mastermind together. He's a super successful entrepreneur. He's um, successful on Amazon. The The credentials are amazing. I, I don't know whether I've got this right, Eddie, but I'm just going to wheel, wheel off a couple of these things. Um, I, I hope I don't put you on the spot a little bit here, but you are successful with uh, Kindle Publishing, Affiliate Marketing, uh, Merch by Amazon, uh Amazon UK and the US, you've got your own private label brand, online arbitrage, you've got a prep service in your warehouse, you're a mentor and a coach, you're a content creator with your own blog, um, I, I don't know whether I've covered everything, your your credentials are amazing, do you want to uh, introduce yourself and uh, give a little bit of a background story? <laughs> well I appreciate the very kind introduction there Kev, uh... <laughs> I think you might be blowing my trumpet a little bit there, <laughs> but but yeah, it's very very kind of you. Uh, but yeah, my name's Eddie Robertson. I'm like I said, good friends with Kev. Uh, we've been friends for a while now. We went to the same school together, and um, so I've been in business. I think we started our first business in 2010, uh, doing affiliate marketing with my brother, and then we did that for a few years. We built it up to a pretty sustainable income uh, through mostly trial and error um, and then that kind of got very volatile uh, and then we moved into Amazon, uh, selling on Amazon and we promised ourselves that we were just going to go all in with Amazon and not miss the opportunity of a lifetime and yeah. we built a business up to, uh, we did a million dollars in the first year in, in revenue and then we've kind of doubled it every year since that's uh, and that was think, yeah that's so that's amazing that's uh that's amazing honestly and um before we get on to amazon because we've got a lot to talk about you know the, the figures you've just mentioned there are uh, um astonishing honestly but i want to just take a moment to uh, briefly talk about personal development and self-improvement because um I know we we're in a mastermind together. We we practice uh, personal development. We're always talking on how we can improve in all areas of our lives, not just business. Um, mm. You know what impact has personal development had in in your life and your success that you've had? Yeah, it's a really good question. And and to be honest with you, I <laughs> I probably bang on about this too much, but I genuinely feel like. Personal development is is the foundation for any kind of success. If I didn't have the, if I didn't study personal development, then in my opinion, there would be no business success. Uh, and then that, that's going back for a number of years. Over since I think I started really personal development when I was about 16, 17 years old, and then it slowly built up from there, which then morphed into business ideas, business yeah. kind of success. It's been incredible. Yeah, wow. I um, I, I, you know, personal development is is without doubt changed my life. And oh. uh, for those for those watching that are maybe not sure what you know what personal development is, um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I would say you know it's just about becoming the best person that you can be. You know, um, absolutely. But if for for you, Eddie, what is you know, if somebody is looking at this going, oh, well, how do I start personal development? You know, what is the, the biggest advice you could give somebody? It's a really, really good question. And obviously, everybody's at a different kind of standard or a different level of where they're starting and everybody's got different goals and, and ambitions. But for me, and from, from speaking to people like you, Kev, uh, our friend Dave, and people who, who I've met around the world have said, like, Setting goals is really where the spark seems to happen. Yeah. Um, so I went through, a, uh, I listened to a guy called Jim Rohn um, six years ago, it was now. Wow. Wow. And, and then he has this goal setting workshop 
And I remember the first time going through that, it was the first time anyone even mentioned the word like goal to me. I never <laughs> really <laughs> didn't really know what a goal was. It was always kind of get a job, you know, the standard path. Yeah. Uh, and he was basically saying, write down what you want. And and that was an eye opener for me because it was like I don't even know what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I I totally agree. I mean I, I've only been introduced to Jim Rohn, I'd say, in the last uh, 18 months, 24 months. But one one thing that, there's so many things that sticks out to me with Jim Rohn, but one of the things really is, um, it's a great quote, he's got so many good quotes, but one of them is, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. That really okay. sums it up to me, because once you start to work you know, on yourself more than your job, you start to you know, you learn different skills, you improve, you know, you improve in all areas of your life, whether it's fitness, your relationships, whether it's, you know, your finances, your career, whatever the case might be. So, so it's yeah, just, I think that's so important, mate. Yeah, so, so important. So obviously we could talk about personal development all, all this interview, but <laughs> um, I, I want to get onto Amazon and, um, you do have your own private label brand on Amazon, which obviously that would be a completely different conversation. But I want yeah. to talk about um, online arbitrage because you've been doing online arbitrage now for, for several years. Um, do you want to just yeah. share how you first got into online arbitrage and, and, and what your startup was? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it has been a cool, amazing journey, to be honest, since when we started online arbitrage and uh, my friend Denny and your friend Denny as well we went to uh, to Thailand a few years ago and we were both doing this business called affiliate marketing which like I said was it was becoming very volatile Google were changing things uh, and then we heard about this thing on selling on Amazon when we was in Thailand and we, we was in a position where we couldn't really we couldn't really do anything because it was in Thailand. Yeah. But luckily, my brother was living back in the UK, uh, and he was working with me on affiliate marketing anyway. So we kind of discussed, right, we're just going to throw around 50 quid at a product just to see if it sells. Um, and we bought a Nerf gun, which is obviously a little toy for kids, and it was around Christmas time. Uh, and we put it on, and I'm not kidding you, within a few hours it had sold and we'd made profit, which was insane. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it would usually take us around three months for us to make any money whatsoever doing affiliate marketing. So it was like a, my mind was absolutely blown. It would take like three hours to make money doing this, <laughs> yeah. was, as opposed to three months. <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of decided there and then this is – We've got to do something here, and that's when I said, "Like we need to make sure we take full advantage of this opportunity because you never know how many of these opportunities there are." Oh God! Oh yeah! I mean, um, you know, I I always say that what an opportunity Amazon is right now, and oh. it really is because of the the size of Amazon. Mm. Um, the the size of Amazon and the there is no I can't see any sort of ceiling on Amazon. They're just like literally taking over the world. Yeah, every every day you hear about new stories. Amazon have created a new fulfillment center in in India or Australia. They're now going into apparently. It's literally that it's a limitless supply and and they've got the platform and all we're doing is providing the the goods and yeah. selling them on their platform. Yeah. So. Um, so you've been doing it a, a number of years. You you know you tested it and then you you went all in with your brother and it's been a it's been a crazy uh, you know couple of years since then. Like you yeah. mentioned, you 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 did um, you know a million uh, revenue in your first year. You've you've gone from strength to strength. Um, do you want to uh, just briefly talk about you know because. You learn so much in business. You're always um, learning things. You 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 can't do everything yourself. You've had to you know develop your team, bring people in working for you. Do you want to just expand a little bit on you know the journey it's taken for you to, to you know to increase your team and, and and work out how things work in your business? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it is a really really good question. Um, so f when we first started, it was me and my brother. So it was it was essentially just two-man band really just 
we did everything. Uh, buying all the items, packing all the items <laughs> in from a little bedroom, uh, as everybody on Amazon seems to do. It's like, <laughs> uh, and then sending them into Amazon. And then we grew it from there. Eventually, after a few months, we brought in uh, my brother's wife. Uh, and she said, that eased the load a lot for us. And then within, I think, nine months, we we uh, got a warehouse, which totally transformed the business. And we got a few more employees. Um, and then as we grew, I think some of the lessons that we've learned, uh, how important things like systems are. <laughs> because <laughs> it's totally different when you've got two people, because you each can just chat to each other directly. Or will you just do that quickly or... I'll, I'll sort of pack in if you do the sourcing. But when you've got, we've now got over 20 people. So wow. that, that there needs to be some kind of system and, and automation involved to, to scale the business. Yeah. Uh, and I think, yeah, creating systems is one of the most important, if not the most important thing to, to growth, in my opinion, because you need to be working on your business as opposed to in your business for kind of quantum leap growth. Yeah. In, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean I, I, I totally agree and it and it's it's something that I've um you know I, I've implemented in my own business. I, I realise that systems are vitally important. And in in your position now, you are um you know you're remote from your business. You have you out you know you're you're pretty much one hundred percent away from the business all you have is all these people working for you, you know, virtual assistants, employees. So t- you have to manage your systems. You know, I, I really like this. Um, I think I got it from uh, one of the books, uh, Work the System or, or, or the E-Myth Revisited. You know, it's all about yeah. you, manage, you manage systems, not people. And oh, Absolutely. And that is, that's what allows you to be, you know, re- remote from your business and you know that people are, are working to the, the, you know, the, the working procedures right now. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Kev. Like you, uh, I think coming from an engineering background, you took to this like a duck to water, the systems and, and, and strategy and all this. It was probably a little bit more uh, of a learning curve for me. <laughs> uh, but, it, but reading, like we're going back to personal development here. And reading these books like the Emif Revisited and Work the System and things like that, that really closes the gap. So you can kind of see, oh well, I want to be here and I'm currently here. I need systems to close this gap. And like you say, working on the systems and managing the systems, not the people. The systems will manage the people. Exactly. That's it's really really well said. That honestly, um, uh, you know, we we can't stress that enough. I because I I um. You know, touching on the, the the mindset of you know personal development and things. You know, it's a it's a different mindset from being an operator, being like a tradesman in a business. You're doing everything to now being a business owner. You can't. You need to change your your thinking. You know, and and that's Absolutely. what systems allow you to do. So, just to just to go on now. Um, you know, you you you've had so much success. Um, you've had so much success. It on Amazon. What is it that you see your future for your business? Like, where, where do you see uh, your business being in, you know, one year, five years, ten years? Yeah, it's, a, again, a really good, these are really good questions, Kev. <laughs> I should be an interviewer. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely in the right profession anyway. Really, really good questions. I think um, my kind of, ambition would be to diversify my income portfolio as, as much as possible because if you leave all your eggs in one basket there's potential for for a greater uh, problem to occur mm. uh, if you have 10 sources of income and you lose one of them you've only lost 10 percent of your income now amazon is an incredible platform and we are going to fully utilize that as much as possible but there is obviously, it's not the be-all and end-all. It's just one potential platform. There's a number of platforms, and there's more and more every day. Like you mentioned, things like, I mean, we're selling in the UK, in the USA. We've got private label in the UK. We've got private label in the EU. These are all, I'm classing these as all slightly different income streams, although they're all still on Amazon. Um, 
and then you've got things like the coaching. So my ambition would be to diversify my portfolio as much as possible while still growing each one. Yeah, exactly. And and this is where your the automation comes in because you can't you can't diversify. You can't go into other multiple streams of income if you are not automating your business in some way. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. If you're in a position where you're working in your business, where you've got to, you've got to reply to the customer messages, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. You could have the, the greatest ambition in the world, but you're never gonna be able to get out of the, uh, the operational level, and therefore you won't be able to start these other income streams. Yeah, and and the things that you're passionate about, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I just want to just quickly touch on. Uh, you logged on to uh, the course, the Online Arbitrage yeah. Mastery. Um, what was your first impressions when you first logged on the, logged on for the first time? Yeah, um, well, I absolutely love the look and the feel of the site. Uh, I've, I've been through a lot of different courses, uh, and we, we've created our own courses as well, but I think the way you have done it is very professional. It's very step-by-step. And I like that because you're not jumping a gun. You're not assuming people know how to send a shipment in. Or you're not assuming people know how to start an Amazon business. You're very, very transparent with the information you share. I like the the foundation module especially is what I've really focused on with your goal setting, which we've mentioned there is yeah. the foundation. Uh, I just like the, the step-by-step methodical approach really. Yeah. Um, and, and it's very clear i like the the attachments you have on on the document uh, on the video underneath the videos everything about it i've, I've i haven't been through everything but yeah. everything i've seen such as the winning and losing examples video is really really helpful yeah i mean um you know it, it is I, I have done a lot of videos and and it there is in terms of hours i wouldn't be able to tell you how many hours are actually in there so <laughs> i i uh, yeah. I appreciate that you haven't been through it all, but you you touched on the foundation again. I mean, we I think that's really the underlying topic of this interview right now is personal development and the yes. what what difference it could make. But you you just touched on it then about your thoughts on you know you've gone on you've you've done lots of online courses you've done uh, you know you go to seminars you books audio programs you know. How important, I know we've, we've touched on this already, but how important is it just to really invest in yourself and, and, and purchasing these things that are going to make you better? Oh, it, it, in my opinion, again, it is, it's everything. If you don't invest in yourself, then it's pretty limited what you can achieve. Um, people look at, <laughs> well, we went to Tony Robbins, uh, which is quite an expensive uh, seminar to go to it's a personal development seminar now people might say you've spent this much going to a, a Tony Robbins event that's a waste of money uh, I don't see that as a waste of money I see it as an investment and if that costs whatever hundreds of pounds to do that I believe there's a return on investment probably every time I've gone to Tony Robbins I seem to have doubled my business um, <laughs> every time I've gone to uh, an, an actual business seminar every time I've t- taken like an online course of how to do private label uh, new businesses have been formed um, yeah. profits have been made it, it, to me it's a no brainer everything has a return on investment if you're investing in I don't know there's nothing wrong with going out of the weekend but if you're doing that four and five nights a week and you're spending hundreds of pounds on beer and nights out then the, the return is probably not going to be the most positive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I totally agree. You do have a return on investment in, in you know, in everything. Um, I mean, what one of the things, you, you did mention Tony Robbins' Unleash the Power Within, and I, and I remember uh, going to that and knowing I'm going there as, with an open mind. Um, it was such a great experience. I would, I would highly recommend it to anybody watching this. Uh, but just to, you know, just to sort of come to the conclusion of the interview, we, we've touched on a lot of things here already. But what does your personal future look like, Eddie? Because I know you're setting up all these businesses and stuff. But you know, what are your, you know, what what are your passions? What what do you see yourself doing in the future? Yeah, um, 
it is a really important question. And I, and I do think that having a, a personal vision for the future, like short range and long range, is, is so, so important. Mm. So obviously we're selling on Amazon. We've got a number of businesses and these are, these are really great. Uh, I see my kind of what I'm really passionate about is helping people. So, I, I, I mean, we've helped both me and you, Kev. We've helped a number of people start selling on Amazon and, and actually quit their jobs. That's right, yeah. Uh, which is, is an incredible thing to do. Like, I get more of a buzz than that than actually making money like, yourself. Money yourself, yeah. So, and, and we do a bit of coaching now, uh, business coaching and, and kind of personal development as well and i see that as kind of my passion helping others like achieve their dreams and their goals yeah is something i really want to do that that's 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 amazing Eddie. because i know i know you you know you uh, you coached and mentored you you know your own parent your your, your mom to do this you know and <laughs> yeah. your auntie and they are now successful in their own business as well and that must yeah. you know for you for you and your brother to have been able to you know, give back to your, you know, your parents and, and open their world up to, you know, the sky's the limit. You, you must yeah. be, you know, you must be so proud. And, and, I, and I can see why you get so much joy and fulfillment from that. Oh, absolutely, man. It's the same for, for you. Like it, helping others is really, it's the secret to living is giving. And, and there's no greater joy. It sounds very cliche, but there is no greater joy than helping somebody else. Like, especially when they have a little light bulb moment and you can see that they get it yeah i think that is there is a cool moment because that's when everything changes for them yeah it really really does right yeah to just to to wrap up a little bit now i know um i know we we've got we've got lots on and i know you're busy and i I really appreciate your time coming on today um you're welcome i just wanted to to sort of allow people to find you Eddie, because you know there'll be people watching this and going i, I want to know more about eddie and i want to know more about his story you know where where can people you know find you on online yeah um well we have a blog which is robertsonsonline.com uh we have we're, we're building this website up with coaching business tips we're going to go through case studies be as transparent as possible, uh, and we have a range, of, a couple of different courses on online arbitrage, and that can all be found through robertsonsonline.com. That's that's awesome. That's amazing. Well, thank thank you uh, very very much for your time this morning. I really really <laughs> well, appreciate it. And I um, appreciate being on, mate. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I love what you're doing, Kev. <laughs> yeah, no no problem, mate. I I, I genuinely think like the the secret to the, the, what I get the most joy out of is the masterminding, the networking. I love to, oh, I love to hear your story. I love to hear everybody else's story because um, I mentioned in the first interview that I did about it doesn't matter what level you're at, whether you are at your amazing level of you know a multi-million pound business to somebody just starting out. You know, I want to do something different in my life. You know, we yeah. can learn from every single person no matter where you are so i absolutely love doing this this is what it's all about mate and if if we can do it then everybody can do it in my opinion <laughs> like that's a yeah there we go yeah that's that's great so that's it then i'm going to wrap up and um thank thank you again i know i thank you many times already and thank you if if anybody has any questions uh, any comments please uh, put the you know put the comments below um like the video please subscribe and um yeah see you guys later it's been a pleasure mate thank you very much no problem <laughs>